Hi, I'm Brian, one of the instructors at the Computer Workshop. We're going to discuss customizing the interface in Microsoft Excel, but I do want you to keep in mind that whatever we do here, we will be able to repeat the exact series of commands in the other Microsoft applications, such as Word and PowerPoint. I have Excel open and we're going to go ahead and make some changes to the Quick Access Toolbar, otherwise known as the QAT. To do this, I can start by coming to the little drop down next to the title of my document. So if I click on this, I will be able to see some of the standard options that they have available to us. I do want you to note that in the newer version, we still have the more commands option as well as the show below ribbon option, but we now also have the ability to hide the quick access toolbar in this dropdown. For now, if you wanted to add any commands that are available here in this list, you simply click on it. So if you would like to have a new file button added to your quick access toolbar, you simply select it. And as you can see, it is added up in that QAT. There are not a lot of choices available in this drop down menu. So we will want to come down and choose more commands. This will open your Excel options window directly to the quick access toolbar category. And here we can see we have two columns of commands. The first will be the list of popular commands and you are able to switch to see commands that are not available in the ribbon, every command in the application. If you have macros, you would see those. And then you can actually look at each individual tab within the Excel environment. In this case, I'm going to just choose all commands. In a moment's time, every command available in the application will be listed. Over here on your right side, you will see the commands that are currently available in your application. Notice something very important here, and that is that your base commands such as auto save and save are not listed here. These are things that are separate now from the standard QAT that we've had in the past where they have been part of it. I also really want to draw your attention to the fact that you can customize the QAT for all of your documents, or you can make it specific for the file that you are currently working in. As you can see, we have the new file option that we just added before. I'm now going to begin adding more options to my QAT. To start with, I'm going to select the separator and I'm going to come down and click the add button and as you can see it will add it to the right side. Now I really do not want to continuously have to select an object and then come down and click the add button. You can also simply double click your selection in the left column and that will bump it over to the right column. I'm putting several separators in because I would like to organize my commands into related groups and the separators just help me visualize this group separate from the other group. Now I'm going to keep things fairly simple here and I'm going to scroll through this alphabetical list and some that I like to have available at all times will be things like close. I want to close files so I will double click on the close file. I also really enjoy the close all this is great for when you have many, many files open and you just want to close all of them at one time. So I'm going to add this by double clicking again. Another one that I might want to consider adding here would be the open command. And as you can see, there are quite a few commands available to you. There's my open command and I would like to have my save as. And again, you can see I've just got lots and lots of options. Now that we have added several commands, 
So with my Save As actively selected, I don't want this to be the last option on my QAT. So using the little up and down arrows when I have an object selected, I can reposition it in this order. So I'm going to put that after my new file. I'm going to put my open to the very first position. I will follow my Save As with the close file. And then I will add my close all between two separators. The reason that I'm doing this is because these two buttons will share the same icon. And this just helps me from getting confused and clicking the incorrect one. Now, I also would like to put my undo and redo commands back in. So I'm going to scroll through my list of options, locate my undo and redo and reapply those and I'm going to set those in between another pair of separators after my close all. Once I have these built I'm going to leave the last separator there and I will be adding more commands as I go. At this point I safe to go ahead here and tap the OK button and you can see the QAT now has a few more options. It is becoming much, much more robust. As I add more and more commands, I will run into the title of my document and quickly run out of space across the top of my screen. So I'm gonna use my little dropdown and I'm gonna to choose to show this below the ribbon. And now I can load my entire interface, go all the way across the top with commands. In the new version, I also will see that each of my commands is labeled. This might become a little problematic as I continue to add more commands. So I'm going to come to my drop down again and notice that you have the ability here to hide the command labels. This will remove all of those labels and give me more space for my commands or my buttons without the wasted space of the text because after a while you will begin to recognize all of these icons and it will become a very intuitive way to work. When I determine which are the commands that I use most regularly from each tab in the ribbon, I'm going to go ahead and add those to the QAT. One that I highly recommend here in Excel would be on the Formulas tab. In the Formula Auditing group is the Show Formulas button. Now to add this to the QAT, you simply right click on that, choose the option Add to Quick Access Toolbar, and as you can see, it is now added here down below. You can pretty much add almost any command or drop down from the ribbon to your QAT. So if I wanted to define names, I could come up here and add this. If I realize I don't use that, I right clicked on it to add it. I can also right click on it to remove it. Once you have established or built this QAT with all of the commands that you work with on a regular basis, you might want to consider the fact that you no longer need to have your ribbon in full view. To collapse the ribbon, the easiest thing to do is pick any tab in the ribbon and simply double tap it. So a quick click click and the ribbon will be minimized. That doesn't mean that you cannot access those other commands which are currently hidden. To do that, you simply click on the tab that you want. The ribbon will drop down very much like a window shade. I can pick the command that I want and in a moment's time that ribbon will collapse. I really would like you to take the time and customize each of these environments to suit the way that you work and therefore make your lives just a little bit easier. I hope that you've enjoyed today's presentation. If you have, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every Friday for our Learn for Free Friday series. So please come back next week and see what's new. Until then, take care for now.